Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Dark Side Depot. Uh, just setting everything up right now. We're going to get started in a minute. And we're going to do uh, two videos tonight. First one's going to be the uh, build tip video, and that's going to be for the thighs. The uh, or, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, ammo packs for the ammo uh, belt for the abs and for the thigh. So we'll go over uh, placings, uh, sizes, measurements, where to cut, where not to cut, uh, how much you need, and stuff like that. So just give me one second. I'm going to pull this up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll start off with the uh, ab belt. So a couple things. Here's my uh, my ab cod piece. This is the where the canvas belt's going to go on. And then the uh, plastic ab belt will be put on top of that. A uh, couple things. When you get mine, they uh, they when they come, let me go quick here so when you come you're gonna get a uh, flat piece just like this um, yes it is a little bendable um, but what I do is I, I still bend it a little bit with a little heat so that'll give you um, a little bit better you know uh, some of them you know I don't want to I don't want to just support it like this so it's just a little bit, a lot less strain on the buttons and everything else if we just put the uh, the bends in it. So what I do with the bends is I do a little heat. Um, we don't have to use a lot of heat. I do use a, a heat gun on them, and that's how I bend everything. That's how I do most of all the uh, reshaping or anything like that that I need to do. So it's very easy. Um, what I'll do is I'll we'll set this up here just like this. I apologize the way I got to do this tonight. Um, I was gonna have somebody give me a hand with the cameras, but they were unable. They were still working. So we'll just we'll just do with what we have here tonight. So I have this right here. This is where the placement's going to be. So remember when you do your canvas, the uh, the canvas belt is going to be put so the canvas and the plastic will go just above this line right here and just touch or just be above this. Or you don't want to be any lower than what the, uh, than what the uh, plate's going to be. So you want to be just on top of uh, the plastic should be right about here, the canvas going straight across here. So what I do first is remember on the ab plates, We'll drill our holes out and we'll get ready to do the canvas belt. That's how I start everything as far as putting the belt on. Um, buttons. I use the heavy duty snaps for everything. So what I do is I will take a screw. And once I once I put this in, you can you can do the snaps. The snaps are a uh, two piece snap. Let me actually grab one. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so. These are the heavy duty snaps that I use. All right, you can pick them up uh, Amazon, Joint Fabrics, Walmart. Anybody has these. I get the heavy duty ones. Um, that's what I like to use. So originally what I did is I would put these inside the hole and then you would have to use the, uh, the post and the plate that come with the snaps and bang these in together. Uh, much easier way that I found I take a number six screw and I put it through the hole in the uh, button. It'll be nice. It will be underneath the uh, top of the button so it won't have any problem with the snap going through. I will put that through here just like that. Washer and a nut on the back. So what I normally do is I will use the lock washers which are the ones that have a little bit of, or not, excuse me, not lock washers, the lock nuts. So what they do for me is they have a little bit of a plastic uh, washer inside of the uh, nut. So when you go on top of it, it will hold it there. It's not going to work itself out. So I put that on and then I just trim it so it won't, um, it won't uh, bother me when I put the ab plate on. What I also do too is if I don't have those and I use, uh, I'll use two regular nuts on them. And then I'll put them on and then I'll put some uh, E6000 glue on top of those. That'll coat those so it'll have like a rubber coating. 
so you won't have any jagged edges or anything like that on the inside which would be where um the uh the uh, plate would be up against my stomach or anything like that so that's just a little uh tip on the uh, comfort side of it when you're putting it on so once i've got the uh holes in there i mean the uh, buttons on then i will take my belt itself i will take the belt and i will go in hey john how are you uh what i'll do is i will take the belt measure out the middle of the belt all right um i get these from uh mr kittel off of uh white armor you know, as you know, I talk about white armor all the time. Check out whitearmor.net if you have any questions, need build tips, anything like that. Um, great source of resources from those guys. Um, so just check them out if you ever had any uh, problems, tips. They also do have a shop. If you're into 501st, they have different items on there for you. If you're not, then, you know, you can always, you know, this is the best thing is to get involved with this. To be able to go out there and do some good and help everybody so what i do is i take this he already lines this up with the belt here he already puts a, a middle mark on it um what i try not to do is i don't want to try to figure out what the middle mark is so this is perfect because what this has is it has a, a piece of plastic inside the belt and that's what holds it to give it a nice stiff ridge all the time so it won't just flop down and um, collapse because it is just a soft canvas um, but it, it's it's also pretty big, so you, it's not like a regular belt leather belt or anything like that So from here I will put this down on it once I find my midline I will go on here where the midline is and then I will press it as hard as I can right down where those snaps are So I'm going to do this in a different spot because I have not set this belt up on the uh, This ab yet and I'm going to press it right in there. Okay, What's going to happen on the back side is great. Because I'm not sure if we can get it. Yes, you can barely see it. See that indent right there? That's exactly where my snap is going to go. So then I will take my uh, leather punch, put it right over top of that, punch it, and then I'll be able to put my uh, female snap end on the canvas belt. So now I've got this perfect... I don't I do that before I do anything with the uh, with the hard plastic one the reason is is once you get the hard plastic one that attaches to your canvas um, I use the uh, Chicago screws they're a post and screw uh, ho uh, holder I use those on it and then you have to glue your snap uh, plates on top of the uh, ammo belt so once you do all that the issue with that is then is I have to try to get my fingers in here in between the canvas belt the plastic belt and try to find out where the hole is This is just much easier for me. I press them down um, Get those in I'm perfect. So now what I do is you're going to drill the uh, ends out so from here uh, I forgot what the exact uh, size is um, I believe it's inch and a quarter or three quarter inch and a quarter I believe you're going to be out and on mine you'll see on the back side of them they have these little indents uh, I'll see if I can get it in the camera just this little bitty dimple of an indent right there that's the screw holes that I use um, so what you do is just sh drill your holes right in there okay so this will be my middle line hole right there I will push this out just a little bit more and what I'll do from there is I will use the uh, post and uh, the Chicago screws put those inside <clears throat> excuse me let me back up I'm getting ahead of myself from here I will take this and I will lay it down with the canvas top. so I already have my uh, my midline on this correct I already did that so what I will do is I will take this and I will check it okay I'm gonna find my midline and I'll put, put a, a little dot right there that's gonna be my midline where I can put my uh, punch in the canvas belt make my hole so I can put the post in the uh, the post screw the Chicago screw in back up a little bit remember I give you these these are already pre-cut 
what you want to do is just make sure you check your lines here you should be three to five millimeters off of your uh, off your ridge line right here all right so three to five millimeters off um, just check them make sure they are where they're supposed to be you don't want to have you won't have anything more than what I have what I give you right here um, so that that's a that's the most you get you won't get a half inch or an inch or anything like that on the corners okay on the corners what I do is I'll measure up and I usually take I'll take a ruler and I'll just push out just about a half inch okay half inch down half inch out and then I'll make my cut line or my uh, my line for it. I'm just going to do this once for you guys so you can see. Now you'll see that line right there. All right, on the on the corners of your uh, plastic ammo belt, on the for the ab one, you have to have the 45 degree angle cuts. Okay, now that line right there measured up on my belt should come out right there and the other one will be almost at the other side okay as long as i got the three to five millimeter cut edge everything will look good so once i cut those out i'll have these all cut out here this is still flat i have not bent this yet i have not tried to bend it yet I will put my middle hole in into the canvas belt and I will check everything make sure my cut lines are, are, are correctly for the corners I'm set I'm in the middle I've got everything done I take the canvas belt put it off to the side you don't need it right now now I go back to the uh, to the ad plate what I'm gonna do is I will show you how I bend these um, just excuse the extra sound with the heater I just use a regular um, paint heater you can get these anywhere uh, Home Depot wherever uh, doesn't matter pick them up um, it's just a it's just a, a one of the uh, cheaper versions it's just a paint heater that helps uh, scrape paint off of the walls so from here you're going to see what I do is I line it up just like this okay my first two will never change so I'm not going to bend anything in the middle all right that's gonna stay straight so I will start with the first two boxes out from the middle uh, that's the, this is the piece I'm going to heat up so all we will do is we'll take this and I run it right in between that if this is the first time you've ever tried to do this at all use the um, the plastic that I send you or if you have a different kit or whatever try to use it on a little bit different uh, pieces okay you don't want to mess these up um, I will show you right now what happens when you overheat it and it is such a problem to try to get back so if you're not comfortable with this or whatever, see if anybody's around in your garrison, in your squad, or anything local that you could ask to give you a hand and help with. All right. So all you do, this has taken me years of practice and everything. So right here, all I do is just, I keep heating it up, keep heating it up. All right. This will take a little while. It's not going to be seconds. So I do the top and the bottom. And I just keep running it back and forth. First I will do it on this side where I'll do it correctly. And then I'll show you how or not to do it correctly. So you'll see it's starting to wobble a little bit. I put that down. And I put this on the belt, on, on the ab. And I hold the belt into position what I want for that curve. Now once you take this off the heat, you have, I don't know, less than 10 seconds or so. To put this on the uh, belt itself so you don't have very long it's not going to because this is this is as long as we were talking this is it I'm done it's 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 solid it's not going to move 
So now what I'm going to get off the belt is once I put this on, you see that little bit of a curve in there? That's all I want. I just want to take that stress off of that when I put my belt on and the buttons so they don't try to pop off because this thing is pulling off and the other one. So you, you're just taking that off of there. This is how I this is how I do all of them, just like that. All right. Now, let me show you what happens on this one on the other side when I put too much heat on it. And this is what will be the, uh, the issues and the problem with it. see here so now I'm gonna do the same thing and sometimes you think that you you need it to bend and you really don't it just has to start heating up and it'll bend itself so you just have to put a little pressure on it to bend it but if I'm sitting here and I'm going through and I'm like okay you know it'll be all right I just want it to bend real good so I'm putting a lot of heat on it going back and forth the same way I did it now it's starting to bend okay yep yep oh okay yep now it's good now I'm gonna put it on well the problem was is now I can't get that that nice shape I wanted so now you get this here okay it's not bad but when you look at it, and I'm not sure if I can get this in the camera. But the plastic is now warped. What it, and what I mean by warped is there's valleys and ridges in it. Because the plastic, when, 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 when these are formed, there's, a, there's a, a grid of heat over top of this stuff. So everything is, is heated up the same and that's how we want it. Well, for this, I just want to do a little bit of a bend in it. So I just have to heat it up just a little bit. Parts of it does not heat up correctly all the time. So you'll have a little bit, a little cooler, and a little hotter, a little cooler. It's all over until you get that. And what, what happens is, is once you heat it up, some of it too much, then you're going to get this warping effect because other parts aren't heated up enough. So that's why, that's why you don't want to just do this because now in order for me to straighten it out i'll still have these warping pieces in here and it just does not it doesn't look right it doesn't look good where this side here is nice and smooth there's no problems with it so you can always take the heat off check it put a little more heat on take the heat off check it it's like it's like everything when you do these you measure it right i measure it six times and then cut once all right, then I measure it again, cut, measure again. All right, if I measure once and I have to cut and I have to uh, lengthen these, it doesn't work. So I'll never be able to get these, you know, farther. So that's what I, that's why I'm, uh, I have to do it like this. So just a little bit of heat and then you're good. Okay, so what we do after that is we have the, um, Plates, uh, the covers on here, one inch by one inch by one inch, uh, cut them out, glue those on. I just put a piece of uh, painter's tape on them to hold them on overnight. Again, E6000 on everything for me, just in case I ever have to take the belt off, put a new uh, canvas belt together or whatever. I don't use crazy glue. I don't try to use any of the, uh, um, the uh, I'm losing my, my, my brain here tonight with the uh, words. But uh, the CI, the CI glue, I believe it is. Somebody correct me with that, please. Um, I know I'm not, I don't have it right because I don't use it. Um, but I don't put any of that on here. E6000 right underneath the uh, the uh, the cap, and that's perfect. You can scrape a little extra off if there is any, and then that'll work. All right. So that is how you construct the ab ammo uh, belt for the uh, ab cod piece. If anybody has any other questions with that please let me know and we'll go through it as far as the thighs go that's a little different so the thighs I do the same thing with um, let me grab a thigh okay so when you get your thighs they're the same exact thing here you're gonna get them just like this all right um, now what do I have to do I have to bend these around my uh, my leg all right so I don't like to do this because again, 
I have to put two rivets in here and that's all that's going to hold these. And it's a lot of pressure going back and forth. So, for the thighs, I have my thigh. Uh, let me just back out here real quick. Okay, so I have my thigh here. Now, I have to put this around. Okay? I do the same exact thing. I just heated the, uh, the, um, the uh, ab belt with. All right, but the only difference is, is right now, I've only got five pieces on here. The middle one will go on the uh, right near the cover strip right here, and I'm going to start with the first section here, okay? And I'm going to look at it and see where I'm going. So if you see it from this side here, we'll go to this area over here. I'm going to be just like that, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this little bit up right in here. Okay, I will do one for you again, and then we'll go through. So I just want to heat up just quick again, you know, move the, uh, move the heat around very quick. I don't want it to, uh, I don't want to do too much with it, just enough to start to bend it. Also, the less heat you do on it um, before it starts to bend, the better the bend looks in it. Not quite there yet. Okay. I'll take this, put this on. So, what I have here now is this is going to be my first bend. All right, that'll be my first bend in it. Now you can you can go, you know, I can heat this up a little bit more, round it out just a hair, um, but that's what the bends are going to look like from here. They're going to wrap right around the thigh. Okay, and then the next one will be here, and then the last one on, on the end. Um, when you're doing these, okay, people will be like, oh, there's... It's the way the molds are, so this is this is perfectly um, the same length on both sides. The problem is, is your legs are not the same size. So when I'm looking at this here, right, this part here is where it has to go, and this part here is where it has to go. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm longer on this part than I am over on this part. So what I have to do is once I put these on, I will measure this out. Um, so you may have, depending on the size of your leg, you may have a little bit of this where it doesn't go to the sideline of, of the, uh, the thigh. And what I mean by that is this one is all done. So this one is straight down with this ridge line right here on the back side of the, uh, of the, whatchamacallit, of the leg. Okay. The other one is not. So I'm just a hair off with this one, if you can see, because of the size of the leg. All right. Uh, so what I do is I make sure that, it, and then it will always be mostly on the inside of the leg anyway. So you'll never really see it. Um, as far as this goes, you want to have a straight line down. Okay. And then I use a paint, uh, a spray paint can, and I'll make this corner. All right. Put it on where the bottom corner and the side. And just cut my line and then I'll, I'll cut that off so that gives me my rounded edge that's supposed to be in there all right um, if you get any of my kits or if I do your builds you're gonna get the uh, seven millimeter uh, split rivet in here so that that's fine for these um, if you like having the uh, single cap rivets I do have those also you just let me know and I, I'll include those in too so you get the uh, split rivet on this side then I'll do the other side and I'll measure it all out. As far as the measurements in from the holes here, you're going to be uh, 10 millimeters from the top and then to, to the back. Cut that in and then I go just about midline or so once it goes into the, uh, into the inside of the um, thigh. All right, but that's what it'll look like once it's all done. So I don't have really any uh, stress, stress lines on this one. Um, there's no stress on the plastic. 
on the uh, screws, anything like that, because it's all bent. And once it's bent, it basically is form-fitted right to the uh, thigh. So that'll hold everything right there. Um, so if you guys have any questions whatsoever, as far as those, uh, those two go, uh, again, shoot me a message, do everything, hit me up on uh, Facebook Instant Messenger, get me on my uh, the Facebook page on the uh, the Messenger itself, or grab me on my cell phone, uh, the, the uh, whatchamacallit, my number's right on the uh, page for Dave's Dark Side Depot on Facebook, so hit me up with any of those, or grab any of your questions, and I'll throw them in a video just like this. Um, so with that being said, that is the construction of the... Uh, ab ammo belt and the thigh ammo belts i hope you guys enjoy that i hope some uh tips and uh build help uh, you know for you guys out there so that will be it for tonight um hopefully i won't be on uh sunday night i will see you guys uh next week we'll be having another one possibly friday i'm not sure i'm going to do another video uh right after this one i'm going to start um cutting these into two different pieces as far as the build videos and the talkabouts so the talkabouts coming up right as soon as i get off of this i'm going to start up the talk about so we'll do that and then uh we'll talk about uh boba fett episode five tonight um and then we'll go from there but i um, got the uh person's working on the uh editing and everything as far as the build videos go so hopefully next week i'll be able to shoot a couple of those out now and we'll be posting them on both the AM page and the uh, Dave's Dark Side Depot page. Um, again, AM page is great. Go on there, um, check it out. You know, ask. It's a it's a private group, so you got to join it. Um, fill out the questionnaire real quick, and then we'll get you into it. It's a lot of great information from other guys that have built AM, um, done it. You know, for years and years and years, those guys are on there. Uh, so so I really appreciate all the support over there. And then the build page is basically, and this is the for sale page too. So that's where you buy everything is the Dave's Dark Side Depot side. Uh, the AM page is just for you guys to have fun. Post your picks up. If you guys post any picks up on this one too, please do so. Just, uh, you know, tag us in it so I can see it as soon as it comes up. And, and, and you know, I love why, I love guys sending me, uh, you know, pictures, on, you know, messages and everything of them in, their, in trooping and everything like that. It really means a lot to me that you guys are out there doing this stuff and enjoying it. And that's the best part about it. So uh, please send me pictures, do everything, um, and, and, and we'll, we'll go from there. All right, you guys, have a good night. May the force be with you, and I will talk to you next.